Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for another YouTube video, All In Crypto here. And today we are going to be covering a crypto project that we haven't spoken about in a little while. It was one of the projects that did very well for us in 2020 and 2021. And I do believe that now is the time to start paying attention to this project once more. What is the project that we're going to be talking about? Well, it is Veracity. We're going to do a number of things in this video, including diving into the absolutely huge announcement in regards to them burning 50% of their maximum supply. Um, this was literally announced yesterday, but we're going to do a number of things in this video. We're going to be looking at it from a price point of view. We're also going to be recapping on what Veracity actually is and what it's trying to do. And it's very nice for me as somebody who's been in the crypto space for a long time to see a project like Veracity solve a real world problem. And we're going to be exploring that and the market opportunity that Veracity is trying to um, explore to kick the video off. So we're going to start there and then we'll move on to the announcement, which is huge. And of course, we'll look at it from a price point of view. I do believe that many altcoins are on a turning um, sort of point at a turning point, I should say. And we have assessed really since January the 5th, following a conversation we had uh, with our community after sheltering and being out for the bear market, you know, we decided to get back into the crypto space as we assess that the crypto spring is here. And Veracity is certainly basking in a bit of that sunlight. So we will be covering all of that. Let's start the video off by just recapping with what Veracity is. And we're going to be using their white paper. Now, this is an updated white paper that came out in 2022. The previous one, I think, was 2018. They hadn't updated it since. Um, and there's a lot of similarities, a few differences. Um, but ultimately, the vision and the goal and the mission for Veracity is still the same. And we're going to start off with Veracity's mission. Veracity's mission is to significantly increase engagement and advertising revenue for video publishers on any video platform. Two of the largest companies in the world make and monopolized, actually, I should say, the ad um, revenue stream. And, and with Web2, it completely changed and innovated many different areas of um, business, industry, so on and so forth. And Web3 is doing the same thing. And actually, Veracity could be revolutionizing the advertisement game and, and, and how it all works. So Veracity at a glance, the protocol and product layer platform for esports and video entertainment. By the way, gaming is going to grow and grow and grow. And I actually think as they, I don't want to use the word dumb people down, but as uh, we become more glued to the screens, you know, this is an industry that I do genuinely believe is going to uh, grow and grow and grow. So Veracity is a rapidly growing uh, blockchain enabled company across the ad tech, esports and video entertainment industry with patents secured in both the US and China for its revolutionary proof of view technology. Veracity is developing uh, proprietary technology that helps eliminate ad fraud across video advertising channels. Veracity is already a revenue generating product through growing and revenue, uh, through growing ad revenue, sorry, with several product ver Tickles um, actively deployed and used by uh, enterprise clients. So we are going to be exploring that. Let's move on to Veracity's mission. Veracity's core mission is to significantly increase engagement and advertising revenues for video publishers on any video platform. In turn, Veracity, through its VeraView and tech stack of POV, proof of view, technology significantly increases advertising revenues for video publishers on any video platform. The Veraview and Stack utilizes Veracity's patented protocol layer on the VeraChain blockchain, ensuring transparency and immutability for both advertisers and publishers within the Veracity ecosystem. Let's move on to the actual um, market opportunity, because this is why I think potentially Veracity is going to be a pretty big project. And again, it's nice for someone like me who's been in the crypto space for a long time to see a product market fit when it comes to these cryptos. Many cryptos out there have no product market fit. They have no real world application. They're not being used. Whereas Veracity is actually trying to solve a real world problem and is gaining traction in the department that it's looking to um, 
um, play a role in, if that makes sense. So the market opportunity, there are clear opportunities for Veracity's technology in both the advertising space and the video on demand market. In 2021, digital ad spend reached $455 billion worldwide. Massive industry, ladies and gentlemen. And this is projected to grow by some 70 billion in 2022 to 525 billion um, by 2024. It's estimated that advertising spend worldwide will be over 645 billion, which Veracity's addressable market. However, to date, as such as 40% of this ad spend is lost due to ad fraud, Veracity aims to solve this problem. Primarily, Veraview will protect against fraud in the multi-billion dollar video on demand market. In 2021, a worldwide, sur worldwide survey into weekly video content viewing habits found that a combined 63% of uh, respondents used VOD services either via traditional cable or satellite television channels. Some 27% of uh, respondents weekly video stream was dedicated to esports. Wow. Very interesting. According to experts, VOD services will generate 120 billion in revenue during 2022. And for the first time, video ad placement will account for more than half of all ad spending in the United States, the world's largest advertising market. Finally, it's estimated that 2.298 billion users, wow, huge, will have access to or a subscription to some form of VOD service by 2026, a staggering 29% of the Earth's entire population at a time of writing, demonstrating the size and future potential of the market Veracity is expanding into. Very interesting. Through securing key patents in the United States and China for video monetization through proof of view, Veracity taps into not only the ad market, but also the broader consumer market through NFT-based assets, recently estimated by Emergent uh, Research to reach $3.5 trillion worldwide by 2030, as NFTs are deployed for enterprise and to prove digital ownership across a range of assets. We very much agree with that and think that that's the way that things are going. Although still in its uh, nascency, the NFT industry has proved has a problem. Some 80% of NFTs minted through the leading minting protocols, OpenSea, are surpassed, suspected to be duplicated or blatantly fraudulent and leading art website, uh, DeviantArt flagged over 90,000 instances of NFT fraud in the six months from September 2021 to February 2022. To combat this, Veracity's uh, proprietary proof of view technology can be integrated into smart contracts to protect NFTs at the point of minting. And as they subsequently traded peer to peer or through official markets place, POV also provides authentication of a number of parameters, including chain of ownership. POV is not limited to views, but can also be used to verify any digital image uh, viewer. As valuable traditional art enters the NFT space, Veracity predicts that POV will become a increasingly important lifeline to galleries, artists to prevent fraud. That is also huge, by the way, guys. And actually you can see as everything gets digitized, you're going to need authenticators uh, like Veracity's proof of uh, view. So the problem Veracity is solving out of some $455 billion of ad spend, as much as 40% are consumed by bots, not humans. That's many billions of dollars of wasted advertising spent by brands and advertisers who often simply cut the numbers of ads they run or decrease advertising budgets to counter their losses. There are over 2 million video publishers struggling with a problem that brands no longer want to pay as much for their ad space because they have no reason to believe that humans are actually watching their ads. Even the likes of Google and Facebook have to return substantial amounts of money to brands each quarter because ad fraud companies 
that detect fraud after the event are used by brands to justify clawing back their ad spend. Of course, this in turn adversely affects the content providers of YouTube and other platforms because they receive less income from ads spend. In contrast, brands are typically willing to pay five to 10 times more if they are convinced that ad fraud levels are low. With Veracity's advertiser, advertisers don't need to be convinced as viewership can be immutably and transparently proven on the blockchain. Veracity's patented POV technology, uh, which alongside 12 other components power the Veraview and tech stack, uh, detects and eliminates ad fraud and records um, on the blockchain, genuine human views and ads. So we are going to leave that there. That was rather long winded and a lot of you guys are having to probably painfully listen to a dyslexic read. Um, you can see the real use of veracity. Um, it's very apparent to me and that's going to move us on to the news that we had yesterday in regards to Veracity's bold move, uh, a 50% burn of the maximum supply. I'll leave a link to this article in the description. If you don't like reading articles, we do have an AI bot, but we'll probably read significantly better than just I have. Um, and you can see the impetus behind the burn, the decision to burn 10 billion VRA tokens, which were originally part of a strategic reserve wallet for future business endeavors uh, was a significant one. The reason Veracity's commercial success with its innovative anti-bot advertising technology, this technology powered by the patent of proof of view blockchain system um, has already uh, garnered attention and adoption. With its increasing commercial success, Veracity found no need for the 10 billion strategic reserve tokens, opting instead to fund its expenses through the revenue generated by the technology. That is a hell of a positive sign. You can get the CEO of uh, Veracity. Our commercial rollout is bringing greater utility to VRA through its primary use as a payment option for Veraview campaigns. Now our community uh, consultation and subsequently burn of our strategic reserve tokens, some 50% of our maximum supply, proves that we're also listening to our community and improving our crypto ecosystem. This is part of our growth uh, strategy for 2024. We are expecting huge demand for our advertising solutions and we are now laying the foundations for that growth. Guys, you can see the Veracity, the Veracity token VRA. It made waves back here, did a really nice run. And this is typical of how blockchains come out of a crypto winter. You get a, a big run, a retracement. If we use Ethereum as a, a quick example, big run, retracement, second little run, retrace again, and then you start things. And you end up putting in like a double kind of bottom, if you will. All your indicators for what Ethereum went through look very similar to uh, where Veracity currently um, is today. You know, we, we ultimately think that Crypto Spring is here and this is now on the turn and obviously the token burn has done wonders for it veracity is a uh, crypto project that currently sits at 60 million in terms of market cap we saw projects that had no real world application no product market fit get to oh tens of billions you know nearly hundreds of billions based on absolutely nothing and this is a project that currently sits at 60 million Guys, we don't actually own Veracity right now, but it's certainly something that we are genuinely looking into. We see a real product market fit and we bring content just like this to help you guys uh, find these altcoins. This is not an endorsement to buy. It's had a big move. It's never really a good time to chase in once something's moved like this, but it may be something that we look for an opportunity to get into on, 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 on a pullback. Um, and if you guys want to stay up to date with what I'm buying and where, please do consider becoming a patron. That's really all I've got for you guys. This was a recap on Veracity. We covered the big news of the token burn um, and of course, potentially the future prospects and, and, and real world use case that uh, Veracity has and the interesting prospect of it only being at a $60 million market cap, um, which is an exciting one. On that note, I'm going to love and leave you. If you've enjoyed the content, like us, appreciate it, as a comment and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next.